Hello, my name is Spider0804, and I play Minecraft. I, uh, I made this video to show what I'm capable of, and to hopefully inspire some people to complete their projects, because I always see progress videos, but I never see finished videos. When's that enterprise going to get done, hmm? And if it is done, I sound like a douchebag. This is my build partner, also known as my block buddy. Sam Halathor. Uh, <laughs> we built the uh, this together. It's a one-to-one -one scale replica of a Corvette uh, Rebel Blockade runner. And I'm going to show you some views of it. Oh, shit. Here's the front side. is an exact replica on the outside but it is not an exact replica on the inside because the the schematics for the inside had some magical tunnels that never existed like they had rooms but they didn't ever have them connected so that's the outside we're gonna go inside now This is the bridge, it's my little plaque, completed today by me and my buddy, build time two days, it really did take two days, I, you can ask the people on Justin TV, they watched me build it all, okay, well, this is the bridge, the officer's quarters, got some plants, they even have a window. Window is a very prized commodity in a Corvette, because they don't exist. That's the captain's quarters. Down here is the jail, and in the actual schematics you did have to go through the jail to get anywhere else on the ship, so kind of a weird path to take. This shaft leads to the turbo lasers, but they don't turn or anything, you can just look out of them. It's nothing, nothing that special. Inside here we have the bathroom with complete flushable toilets. Not really, but they do have a leather lever. This is where you throw cocaine. Um, again, this is like a little viewport. There's four right. of these uh, laser batteries. Uh, two right there. Two on the other side of the ship probably saw those while I was doing my video. Ah! 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 Okay. This way is our janitorial area. Also known as the janitor's closet. Knock before enter. It's got a little cactus and then a little bit. He gets paid by the amount he picks up. Yeah. Okay. These are the escape pods. My friend's going to demonstrate how the working escape pod works. You can see there was an emergency and someone already launched one into that very large hole. So emergency, pull lever, break glass, pray. Very simple instructions. There's the Okay. There's I the said lever, it's an emergency. There's the glass. I'm I'm going to react now. Oh no! He's breaking the glass. Down goes the door. Down goes the escape pod. And so, I landed with the whole escape pod with me too. Well, you're, you're missing one side of it. This is Legion of Doom. Anyway, uh, if anyone is curious on how to make escape pods, like we have six here, they're extremely simple. They take about a minute to make. About... 15 seconds to redo once you have the template. And there's the Anarchist Closet again. The Starship layout makes no sense, which tells you it's a good ship design. Because most ship designs make no sense. Actually, the only ship design that makes sense in Star Wars is um, Han Solo ship. Yeah, Han Solo ship makes sense. This is storage. 
Storage two. Storage. Storage three, three. Storage four. Storage four. Mining equipment. This is the airlock. For for things to dock. Like my my replica of the the Millennium Falcon can dock. Uh up here is is communications. Boxing. Okay. Up here is observation. You can see little little bits of the whole ship here. Someday I dream of having a fully functional ship that can move and have rotating turrets. Right now it's one or the other, it seems like. No, we're not moving this ever. It would lay out my server so oh, bad. Oh, we will move it someday. This is, uh, diagnostic. I think this is the right. supercomputer. All their little switches. Because computers have switches. We're, we're missing Bellana Torres. Like, this is like the, the warp core. Anyway, down here is just... Another little observation area. Anyway, like I said, this is a one-to-one -one replica that is exact. So, if you were to see one of these in real life, this is the size that it would be. So, uh, something like a Star Destroyer is like 20 times longer than this. This is 150 meters. Good size Star Destroyer is what, like seventeen hundred meters? No, it's one hundred. It's one thousand one hundred. It's like a small one. Yeah, that, that, that's the that's the smallest class Star Destroyer. These are the uh, engines. Engines. There's redstone and, and ducks going everywhere. There's more redstone. It's it easy to get lost because there's eleven engines in the go everywhere and I'm not going to figure it out. Anyway, hope you liked my completed one-to-one -one scale replica of a Karelian Corvette. And I implore you, if you start a project, please finish it or at least keep up to date on your um, progress videos. We did this in two days. I hope some of you can build some impressive stuff. Go out there and get them. Uh, this is Spider0804, and I am signing off.